Hi guys, my name is Kelsey and I'm here to help you get started with your new Apprenticescope account. We are in our last video of this series um, and it, it's an important one. Um, so as you can see, we are in our invite tab at the bottom left and um, this tab here is how we'll get new users in the system. Um, so first and foremost, we have two different types of accounts. Authenticated means uh, you're sending them an invitation, they have access to their account right away. Managed, on the other hand, is, um, is just that. You are managing their account until you are ready for them to have access. So we'll start with authenticated. Um, let's say you have a new teammate join. Uh, they need the same user, uh, user level as you. They need to see everything that you see. So you're gonna add them as the same user type as you, which is admin. So I uh, click on the user type dropdown, head to admin, enter their email. Once I do that, that, this blue plus button will highlight and you'll be able to send invitations. Like I said, uh, they will have access to their account right away. So keep that in mind. This is how uh, you'll invite apprentices, mentors, and supervisors to the system as well. Um, if you want to uh, take time getting, getting people's accounts set up, um, you know, past OJT, past RTI, get all of their all of their data in their account before they have access, then you should go the managed route. As an admin um, for managed users, you only have the ability to batch upload them right now. So you choose the op occupation they're associated with, and then it prompts you to upload a CSV. When you read these these bullet points up here, it prompts you to download a CSV from the help button. Once I download the CSV, it'll eventually pop up and these are the fields you need to fill in in order to create their account. Um, you do not need to fill in all of these fields. You definitely need their emails, their user types, first name, last name, but then you can put in A for any of these fields if you do not have that information. And all of this information can be changed after the fact, so none of it is permanent. Um, once I save that as a CSV file, I can upload that back in the system, and then it'll ask you to create the users. At that point, they are still a managed user. You, you're in charge of their account. It's more for administrative use, um, but you know, a few weeks down the line, a few months down the line, when you're ready for them to start logging into their account and have them uh, logging their own OJ OJT or RTI, then you can give them access by simply telling them to reset their password. Once they reset their password, they'll be able to log into their account on their own. That's pretty much it for the admin uh, portal. There's a lot more we didn't get into in these videos. We wanna keep it high level, um, but something I wanna remind you in this video, uh, when you click your name at the top right and head into our support center, that's our database for a lot of resources. So if there's something you can't quite remember how to do, uh, head into our support center, type in you know a general question, see if we have anything. And if you're not seeing anything uh, that you need to be seeing, live chat us or uh, send a support ticket into our support team. We're he here to help you. Let us know how we can assist you in, uh, in your Apprenticescope account and getting new people into your account and trained. Thank you.